Order accepted. Hybrid graphics settings are the ultimate in competitive graphics for StarCraft II. They offer the clearest view of the battlefield without sacrificing any of the essential gameplay elements. Instead of having the confusing shadows of medium graphics, you have simple blob shadows that make aiming area of effect spells on air units easier. Pylon power doesn't completely suck. And you can easily identify different types of units as they warp in so you can make better micro decisions in critical moments against Protoss. Force fields are distinct and easy to see. Creep edges are clear and spread smoothly without annoying animations that make enemy cloaked and burrow move units harder to see. Maps that were dark are now bright and clear. Vision in the fog of war is more clear. You can have high models, medium shaders, and the special effect on the Nexus that shows a mothership core is building without having to resort to full medium effects that add unnecessary effects and obscure your view of more important things. Enemy cloak units are as easy to see as possible. Enemy burrow move units are also as easy to see as possible. This combination of essential game elements and clear visuals is not possible with simple in-game settings, but it is very easy to try hybrid graphics settings for yourself. First, set all graphics to low and exit StarCraft 2. Go to your variables.txt file in Documents, StarCraft 2, and make a copy of your variables.txt in case you ever want to go back to your old settings. Copy the code in the thread and paste it at the end of your variables.txt file. Save your changes and launch StarCraft 2 to try these hybrid settings. If you run into any trouble, there is a section on the Team Liquid thread to help you troubleshoot, as well as helpful individuals like myself and Exister that check the thread regularly for comments. My name is Jack Attack, and as always, thanks for watching. If you have an idea for a video you'd like us to do, please leave it with any questions, comments, criticisms, concerns, or anything beginning with letter C in the comment section below, and we'll see you again soon.